Hi, this is Pat Love with Pats Into Hair. Listen, one of my viewers, goes by the name M.O., asked if I would do a quick video on how to pick wigs and hairstyles that best suits our facial shapes, all of that. Well, <clears throat> here are some quick tips. Number one, if you have a round face, get a square or long rectangle hairstyle or triangle hairstyle. But Or you can wear an updo. But do not wear a round hairstyle on a round face. Not. It accentuates the roundness and the puffiness of your face. Number two, if you have a long face, do not wear a long flat hairstyle. Wear a hairstyle where you either, either have a bang cutting across to cut some of that length. Because what happens, I saw a woman on an ad, just to give you a quick example. She had a very long neck, she had a very long face, and her hair was flat on the sides and long. You know what she looked like? A giraffe. So you always have to balance. Everything's about balance when it comes to hairstyles and framing your face. If you have a, and I think it's called an invert triangle where you're real narrow here, but you have a Y for it, get a hairstyle like a page boy, broad on the bottom, narrow up top. If you have a triangular face where you're real thick down here, but you're narrow up here, wear something this big and puffy around the top and tapers down coming towards your neck. You hear what I'm saying? Even if you want to wear flip, bring it round from the top and then let it cut in and flip out. Okay? But you, if you're small up here, don't wear a hairstyle that's flat up there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Um, if you have a diamond face, that is broadest right in the middle, nice big cheekbones. Do not wear a hairstyle that is wide. Wear a hairstyle that is straight. You hear what I'm saying? Or wear a kind of a short tapered cut that just starts above and stops at the ear. And then the rest can go just straight down. You have to work with your face. If you have a, um, if you have a, a short, sp pudgy, round, wide face, do not, I mean never, ever, ever wear a bang. It will make you look like Porky the pig. It will just stretch your face out even longer. It's all a visual effect. So you have to, your hairstyle should always be the shape of your style should be opposite the shape of your face, always. That is the key. Now, <laughs> Emma was had me cracking up about her comment about a wig that she got, and she said she looked like Shaka Khan on a windy day. Boy, that's an extreme there, because Shaka Khan, without any wind, has got about four wigs on her head. So I'm just being funny, but that's that's the way it looks. So this is what you do. When you buy a wig, if you don't know how to do a lot with it, if it is super curly, the wig is made of wefts. Let me see if I have something here. You go in between the wig, and there are spaces in between. You go down into those rows where the wefts are, and you go row by row. You cut a row all the way down to almost the webbing. You skip a row. You cut the next one. You skip two rows. You cut the next. Stop there. Look at it and see if it looks more natural. If you need to shape it, do what I said opposite the face. If your face is round, let the wig go long. If your face is long, Layer that wig so that you have a lot of fluff on the side. 
if it's very thick and you want it to look more natural but you still need the fluff do what I said go inside and cut some of that hair short almost to the nub so that because curls cover they're very forgiving so that way you taper you, know, you tape the bulk out and when you take the bulk out people can actually believe it's your hair hear what I'm saying so there are ways to play with hair most of the time when you deal with wigs that's why if you deal with a straight wig buy a pair of thinning shears from a beauty supply they are a godsend nobody has 10 tons of hair right on the edge of their face that is usually the thinnest part of anybody's hair i don't care if their hair is down to their knees you see little short baby hairs and little thinness right around the temple area there's always some discrepancy around the, the hairline so when you get a wig thin that part of the wig out everything right around the first inch of that face or half an inch thin that out and then go back and thin a little more further back until you've thinned out the whole wig straight wigs are easy to do that with especially if they're human hair wigs anyway i hope that helps and if you need any tips you can always call uh four four how does that number go seven six zero because i do counseling seven six zero four seven six zero four four zero seven 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 two i'll try to remember to put it up on the screen between tonight and tomorrow yeah anyway god bless you and i hope that helps you with what to do oh here's another one real quick sometimes when we gain weight our necks get shorter and shorter and shorter ask me how i know Arr! anyway so when you have a short neck don't wear a short hairstyle. Give yourself some length. Let some hair come down the side of that neck. Take it below the shoulders. Doesn't have to be long. But just so that you have something to take the attention away from the little, you know, the little stub that your head is sitting on. <laughs> Anyway, you have to do little illusional tricks to compensate. Even corrective makeup. Uh, I found when I was, I, I bought this book at a thrift, at a, a yard sale, and it really helped me a lot. I'm aging around the face a lot now. I really see it. So one of the tricks I use is when I take makeup, I learned this from this lady. You put makeup in here, the color of your foundation, to pull your eyes out a little bit, puffy that spot out. That kind of takes the age, you know, aging kind of sinks that in and does stuff in here. Anyway, I'm not even going to go there because I can, I don't want to fall into a depression. <clears throat> anyway, so, but when I don't wear makeup, I literally look about 15 to 20 years older. So, makeup there's a thing called corrective makeup and if your face is extra wide you can use just a tinge of darker foundation on the sides to bring that in you can use a little darker foundation under the chin it's illusional you guys okay now if your face is extra narrow you can slightly use a lighter tone to kind of puff your face up a little bit there are always little tricks that's why you see models when you see them with makeup and without makeup you look and say no because the makeup artist knows how to balance with hairstyle and makeup and corrective makeup makes a big difference illusionally so when you know those few little tricks you know how to how to make you can take 10 years off your face with makeup and no you're not going to see me without makeup so don't even ask because they'll arrest me for indecent exposure but anyway that's all you need to know toodles have a good night and i hope that helped <laughs>